Why should we care about bees? Pollination is where bees and other pollinators go to a flower to collect the ne- to collect nectar. But when they are on the flower, pollen gets on them, and then they go. And then they fly to another flower, and the pollen that's stuck to them gets in the flower and pollinates it. Bees pollinate more than one third percent of our fruits and vegetables. If bees continue to die, then we can say goodbye to plants, animals, and cotton. Cotton is what most most clothes are made out of. Without bees, our lives will change forever. Native bees in Minnesota: leafcutter bees, cuckoo bees, mining bees, carter bees, and digger bees, and more. Some other pollinators: wasps, hummingbirds, butterflies, beetles, mosquitoes, and ants. Did you know that when a bee lands on a pesticide-filled plant to drink the nectar, it's like it's drunk. And later, when the bee bee gets back to the hive, to its hive, the pesticides get in the honey. And later, most of the bees lie on the ground and start twitching, twitching their legs like they're having a seizure. And did you know that they ship over two thousand bees across the country? California, where there are six thousand acres acres of of almond trees, but these beautiful trees only blossom for three weeks, which kills the bees. When there's no flowers left to get the nectar, so they have no food left. The picture you're seeing is of this almond orchard. This is a picture of a bee. That I explained in the last slide of having a seizure. Here's what you can do: you can plant flowers with no pesticides or chemicals in them. You can send letters to people who use chemicals in plants and flowers, and explain why they're harmful. You can be a backyard beekeeper, you can, and you can buy organic fruits. Do everything you can to save the bees.